Now, I am well aware that I am yet to do a what's in the bag for 2022. I'm also well aware this is a very strange time of year to be bringing you a what's in the bag for 2022. But first of all, I thought better late than never. And also I wanted you to see what I think is for the best set of golf clubs I've ever had. I'm hoping it's gonna stay that way. So we'll kick things off here on the first hole at Woolley Park Golf Club. And this first club I'm gonna tell you is probably, I don't wanna kind of peak early, but this thing has been absolutely phenomenal all year. I had the previous generation in, I've now got the new generation in, and I love it. The TaylorMade P790 UDI driving iron. And it's not just for full shots. It's not just for those kind of 230, 240 yard shots. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's great that it goes that far, but the versatility in this for me is why it stayed in the bag for so long and why I love it so much. I've hit so many good shots under the gun with this on Lynx courses, on Parkland courses, in very, very difficult conditions. And some of the shots have just been kind of like little chips off the tee. Just make sure you get in play, James. Just make sure you get about kind of 170, 180. Just about there, like that. Because if you can rely on a club like that, Generally, you're on to a winner. So that's the first club that's in my bag. And a lot of you may be saying, James, why on earth are you using a little pencil bag? Why haven't you got a full bag? Why haven't you got a trolley? Why haven't you got a tour bag with all your clubs in? And to be honest, I've quite enjoyed using a pencil bag all through the year. I used the Tacoma bag. This is a Seamus Golf, I believe, bag. Half a set, nice and light for a Friday afternoon. What more do you want? So I'm gonna talk you through the irons in just a second. These irons have been very good. I've, I've sort of played with other irons this year and these always find their way back in the bag. Remember guys, my job is to test golf clubs. That is what I do. So they've done quite well to stay in the bag for a whole year. Because I was quite happy using my Mizuno JPX 921 Tours last year. I really didn't want to change. Then I went down for a fitting just to test the new clubs. And these were quite game changing. Not so much in the head design. These are of course the Mizuno Pro 223 irons. But in the shaft, um, this one doesn't have a shaft band on it, it's come off. But, I don't have shaft bands on them, James. Oh yeah. These are the KBS S-Taper 120 shaft. And when I got fitted for these, it just kind of took away a lot of the movement on the ball. If I was to miss it, it was a straight miss. And then it was a little bit straighter anyway, towards target. Right. This is going to have to be a big pitching wedge. It's downhill though. Look at that. That is straight as a die. Down there. Yes, it is flag high. I've really enjoyed these. These are in the bag. They're going to take some beating, to be honest, if we move forward to 2023. And as you'll see, with the smaller bag, I've gone, I've gone evens. Four, six, eight, pitching wedge, and then uh, don't look at the wedges just yet. Because I find, actually, this is something that Chris has worked on quite a lot. I find with half a set, if I'm just playing my friends, if I'm just playing socially, it makes me think about playing different shots rather than Oh, my 99 goes 140. Where's the fun in that? And just to elaborate on that, I'm really happy with this bag setup at the moment. I think the irons are fantastic. The driving iron I absolutely love. But the best club of the year, like literally the best club that I think has ever been released. I'll talk to you about it in just a second. It doesn't matter what club you've hit in, you can't be hitting it exactly flag high, can you? There's just something about that. There's just something about that which absolutely love now club in question is of course the putter guys this is the odyssey toulon las vegas putter for me it'll always be a number seven it always resembles a number seven shape basically the fang putter i absolutely love the look of it i love the color of it i love the face design i love how it comes off the face and i love the green shaft and grip in fact this isn't going to go anywhere for a long time i do want to try and get it re-gripped actually because i really enjoyed the grip it's just got worn probably from holding putts Take the break, take the break, take the break. That is why, <laughs> that is why this is the best club of the year. I've held so many of those where you just don't expect to hold them. Birdie, um, can't believe that went in. So that's all good and well. Yes, the putter is fantastic. The putter is magnificent and I love it. But what about the business end of the bag? Or should I say the drive for show part of the bag? Driver, I'm gonna keep you guessing for just a few moments, but the three wood, I think you all know what the three wood is. Do you? Three Wood is a club that I absolutely love, and usually the Three Wood would be my favourite club in the bag because I absolutely love hitting Three Wood off tees and off fairways. Now, you'll see that this isn't just any old Three Wood. Well, it's 
suppose it is, but this just happens to be the sexiest, best looking, best sounding performance. I don't even care. I mean, the performance is quite good. Three wood I've ever seen. This is the TSR3. So you see, we have got more adjustments now than the TSI3. Still got that gorgeous head shape. Still looks an absolute dream. I love this now as well. We've got just the lines instead of lines and then a round thing in the middle. I know it's the small things, but when you hit this properly, or even when you don't hit it properly, if I'm being honest, because it is rather forgiving, it sounds sounds it sounds like no other experience I could tell you about. Anyway, nice draw off that bunker always loved Titleist fairway woods that is exactly why a little bit toey turning around the corner. what more do you want from a three wood now you know what you've all been so patient i know you want to see what's under here so without any further ado guys i'll tell you what i'll do i'll play a worst ball i've hit the fairway with the three wood i've smashed it can hit the fairway again with the tailor-made stealth now this may surprise some of you and it may not i mean i started off the year with the tailor-made stealth i have always got on with tailor-made drivers as such i just like it i like the red face i like the sound of it i like the feel of it and it feels a good good kind of weight as well six and a half hazardous in here this isn't really a driver hole we're gonna try and on maybe a bit of fade on it looking forward to seeing what they're bringing out next year But that's why I like it. You know, with a bit of fade. Yeah. That'll do. That'll do, James. And I mentioned earlier about the putter being the best club in the bag. I'm not sure it's the most important. That's still to come. You see, I miss a lot of greens. Like a lot of greens. And generally, when I play well, these clubs have to perform. You probably know what I'm talking about. Also, I've had this on the bag, which I've been trying to work with a few rangefinder companies but none of them are as good as a 20 year old bushnell that just never lets you down so that's on the bag as well right moving on guys i've just realized how ignorant i have been in this video i have not even asked you what you are using please get in the comments below let me know what clues you are using because i always find this so interesting this is one of the few videos where i scroll down every single comment and love to see what you're using and also while you're there throw a like on this video if you're enjoying it if you're not yet subscribed just, it's free. Just hit that subscribe button and let's see how close we can get to a quarter of a million next year. Also, you know, I said we were playing worst ball. Um, I think we're safe with those two shots, which kind of backs up what I was saying about these bad boys. Yes, please. Now, golf ball wise, I've still been really enjoying the TaylorMade TP5X, especially the Pix variant. I love this. Not many people are using them anymore, so I just find that I know it's my ball pretty much straight away. But the Tour Response Stripe, very, very good ball. Really, really enjoyable. See, this is our lazy man. I haven't even used that bush now. 70 yards. We're going to check afterwards and see how close I am. I'm saying 70. I'm going to play a 70 yard shot. Be good. Oh, that is just short of the bank and that's coming back. Oh, how far was it? Feels like 70. 90. 90? Well, that'd be a lesson. Right, uh, let's play a 90 yard shot. 90 yards. Probably go a different club, actually. Yeah, that's what happens when you know the yardage. You put it to about a foot. Wedges, this is what I was supposed to be talking to you about. Wow, that is a lot of earth to be putting back. Wedges, I've been using the tail, no. Wedges, where does that go? There, there, and there. Wedges, guys, I've been using the Titleist Vokey SM9s. I absolutely love them. If you watch my channel, you will know I've been using Vokeys for quite a while now. And for me, these are just absolutely gorgeous. I've got 56, 60, and 50. I'm using the 56 a lot more than I used to do now because uh, Chris, the short game coach, has told me that I'm an idiot. But whenever I've played good golf in the past, it's always a Vokey that has bailed me out. I'm never that guy who goes and hits 15, 16 greens in regulation. My best rounds are usually about eight or nine greens in regulation. And then uh, the heavy artillery helps out. I've also got black shafts in them, which you might find interesting. They're not graphite, they are steel dynamic gold tour issue absolutely love that i love how it just looks a bit different it just gives me a bit of confidence you know confidence around the green is pretty much everything as well as technique and 
practice and everything. And yeah, that's what happens when you do know how far you're supposed to hit it, as opposed to guessing and being 20 yards off. Wow. I mean, the first one wasn't far off, but when you know that slope's there, that's criminal. That, however, is much better. Yeah, a lot better. Oh, it's just stayed left again. That's a great put for me though from there. Guys, that has been my 2022 What's in the Bag towards the end of the year. I hope you've enjoyed that. They are generally what I've been using most of the year. And I personally think I've done quite well to not change any more than I have. Guys, if you've enjoyed that, smash that subscribe button below and I'll see you all at the same time tomorrow. Ooh.